This is the experimental setup of a ball mill where fixed number of steel balls are encased within a steel cylinder and rotated to crush the feed. We start the experiment by performing analysis of the feed which is created by crushed bricks. 1 kg of this feed is put into a sieve shaker and then the sieve shaker is operated for a few minutes. We then note the mass of product retained on each screen. Sometimes particles get stuck in these screens which can cause errors in a few calculations. The average diameter of larger particles is measured by a thread. We then calculate the diameter of the cylinder of the ball mill with a thread to get the value of its radius. The diameter of balls inside the mill is also calculated to obtain critical speed of ball mills. After adding the feed, we switch the ball mill on and observe that it starts to rotate. We note the value of revolutions per minute and after a few minutes we proceed to safely switch it off. During the experiment, also note down the power readings on the meter. After switching it off, we remove the product from the ball mill. We observe that while removing the product, the balls may also come out. After removing the product, proceed to do product analysis. We now draw the observation table for feed and product and calculate the sorter mean diameter of both feed and product. We have the values for power and mass flow rate which we apply in Rittinger's law, Bond's law and Kick's law to get the Bond constant, Kick constant and Rittinger's constant. We also find the critical speed of ball mill with the help of diameter of the mill and the balls which we calculated earlier. Then plot the graph of mass fraction against average mean diameter for both the product and the feed analysis.